Take a break from your action shonen or your goring senin and let bartender Sasagai Ryu soothe your soul with the glasses of the gods. So the bartender manga which ended in 2009 in the magazine Super Jump was done by mangakas Akira Joe and um, Kenji Nagamo, Nagato I think his name is, sorry if I didn't pronounce it properly. Um, the original run of the um, anime was from October the 13th 2006 to December the 30th 2006. It has 11 episodes and the genres are drama and senin. Drama and shit semi. Bartender follows bartending prodigy Ryu Sasagawa, who is known to make the best cocktail mixes around. His bar is Eden Hall, which is known to be hidden in the nook of the Ginza district in downtown Tokyo. It's said that Eden Hall can only be accessed by invitation from a host, meaning that it's hidden away from normal people to just walk on by and enter into. But in the odd instance that a normal person just walked by, and enters into the bar. It's like fate because they have some a problem that they want to get off their mind and that they want to go to this bar. Ryu describes a bar as being this place that you can take and forget everything from the outside world, um, world and you can, you're in a new clean state when you're in this bar. Bars were usually used to be places for gangs. That's why the door was heavy. This heavy door that sort of conceals you from the outside world and locks it in so you can have a clean slate and talk to the bartender who may help you out with your problems and needs. During the course of the anime, people from all different walks and of life enter into the bar. Um, so from rich to poor, old to young, all with different troubles and burdens weighing down on them and problems in their mind. Bartenders can be described as a gentle perch and this is where Ryu comes in. Ryu is, helps these people by serving them drinks along with guidance, usually in the form of a story or metaphor, which leads the customers to reflect on the way they've been living their lives and to help them set forth a course of action to sort out these problems and troubles that they're having. Palm Studios took such a leap forward in innovation when animating this series. It's it's like a set for a Broadway stage show where there's a narrator and the narrator tells you the story and people from the previous episodes which are helped out by Ryu also come back to help narrate the story along with the original narrator. And by the way, the voice actor for the narrator of this show is really cool because he has sort of a jolliness to him that sort of aids the sort of tone of this anime and helps you go through it so great job to the narrator he's probably i don't know i don't speak japanese but in terms of voice actors he's probably the mvp of this anime there are stage lights and soliloquies and if you don't know what a soliloquy is if you are sort of you don't know a lot about drama soliloquies is when the actors of a, a single actor of the story speaks out to the audience by themselves with a um, guided by a stage light and what they do is they tell the audience that their feelings and what's going on, but none of the other characters in the play, um, musical or Broadway show know what the um, character, that's, they don't know what the character that's speaking out is saying. So it's just a sort of a personal speech to the audience from this one character. The soundtrack is just soothing and sets the mood and tone for the anime. Slow, mellow and just calm for the most part. The opening is really awesome and it's this um is the actual name of the song is called Bartender and it's by a duet called Natural High. It's really cool in anime songs to see duets because you don't really see too many of them and I just really love the song and it's pretty damn addictive. The ending is meh but the cool thing about it is that it actually changes each episode because at the start of each episode there is a drink of the show and there's sort of this um, metaphor slash fact of the show so they say fact did you know that um, bear is the national drink for Germany or oh, and then they have a drink for the start of the show this drink is the drink that Ryu uses to help this customer and each of the, one of the endings is different because a different drink is actually served by this live action bartender it's pretty cool but the actual song and the way it is it's just meh and 
basically the opening totally pones the ending. Okay, now we're on to characters, but this one's a weird one because I only want to talk about a couple of the characters in this show because this anime is very episodic and the way Bartender's formula is, if I talk to you about a character, it like spoils the anime for you, so I don't want to talk too much about the, um, the characters that are tied to one episode that come back to narrate. I'm just going to talk about Ryu, um, one of the regulars, and Ryu's two mentors quickly, and that'll be it for the characters. Ryu Sasagawa, he's, he's so skilled with his bartending, and his skills have been described as the glasses of the gods. He's very passionate at bartending and says it's like being a doctor. You give the patient um, this medicine in terms of, and in terms of him, it's a drink, and you have to help soothe them and heal them through the process. He, he's the way he is with bartender. He takes he takes bartending very seriously, and he doesn't like to see other people use the art of bartending for greed or selfishness, and he doesn't like any form of corruption in front of him with bartending like he does allow certain lies to be told but when it comes to love he doesn't like those um he doesn't like lies about love to be told in in front of him while he's bartending and there's this really great scene in one of the episodes i'm not going to spoil it where there's a character who's lying about loving someone and he says don't do that um, don't do that in my bar because this woman is going to remember the time you proposed to um, her in this bar and that will be one of the worst memories in her life. I do not want this bar to be the one of her worst memories. Ryu is just really passionate about bartending and doesn't, doesn't want to see anything of a bad nature around it. Sleek, composed and calm, Ryu is always putting up a brave face in front of his customers helping lead them along the right path through his bartend. Then there's Miwa. Miwa is a very important character because she's a regular in a bar. She, her episode is a really interesting one. It's the third episode. No, it's no, sorry. It's the second episode. But I, I believe it should actually be the first episode because the first episode is a really weird introduction to the series. But her episode makes sense because she always appears in pretty much every single one of the episodes. Of, I think... I'm not sure if she appears in the last one and in episode 7 I believe she plays a very major role so her episode should, I, I think it should be the first episode of the series but Miwa has, um, is one of the people that um, Ryu actually helps out through his um, skills as a bartender and her backstory is really interesting and really odd um, and I suggest you pay attention to this character because she's going to show up a lot throughout this anime. Sometimes she brings her friends to the bar, um, sometimes she comments on things that are happening and going along, so pay attention to Miwa. And then there are Ryu's mentors, which actually have weird names to pronounce, so I actually had to write them down. Um, there's Ryu Nochi Kazuhara and Minoru Hazuyama. Those are his two mentors and they, they're the people who taught Ryu his skills and it's very interesting seeing Ryu interact with these two mentors that he has but because both of these mentors, are, while they act in that sort of stern sort of um, teacher student role, they both have sort of different views on how bartending works and at the same time Ryu also has a different view. So. There is an example in an episode where you see Ryu's um, ideologies and how to be a bartender clash with his sensei's um, sort of ideologies of how to be a bartender. It's very interesting because both views could, I could actually side with both views, but because I favor Ryu more as a character, I sided with him a bit more, but both views were very interesting and very good. It's it's, they sort of have this psychology to them, to the way they analyze humans and the way that they try to help them and what what this customer needs because the bartender always tries to serve the customer and the customer is always right in their sort of respect but e even though they say the customer is always right they know what is right in themselves but they want to give off the illusion that the customer is always right so it's just very interesting seeing Ryu clash with these two mentors and sort of the way they bounce off of each other is really is a really great thing you're going to be seeing. Now I'm going to go on to Jay's Falls. I'm so annoyed that this anime didn't have a dub because 
it deserves to have a dub. It's so interesting and so unique and it's only 11 episodes. And the reason why I'm stressing why it needs a dub is because a dub would have helped it so much. Um, the fact that it doesn't have a dub actually hurts its score because the way Bartender is, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of references to old Japanese stories or just stories from history in general, stories from all parts of Europe, some from America. And because of that, not only is the person talking in subtitles, you've got a lot of side captions, loads of them. It's a bit like Gintama fans, you know how it is. There's a lot of side captions in Gintama explaining what is going on and um, what is happening. But with Bartender, it's just sometimes it feels like overload. And this is all said by the narrator. But if the narrator was an English dub, it will find it a whole lot easier to sort of follow what's going on because the, nar the narrator is obviously in English. You can follow what's going on in certain sh um, in certain shows. Like you have a lot of exposition um, explained by the na narrator in it that is in English, and you actually get what's going on. But obviously, English subs you can't really get a good grip of what's going on. But other than that, because I went on about that for too long, I wish this industry would license bartender but um other than that i think the presentation is just unique it is just almost i wouldn't say it's flawless because to some extent the presentation is amazing to some extent it's sort of weird because i like the fact that they went for this sort of stage show look and i like the fact that the soundtrack perfectly sets the tone for the anime but at the same time it's kind of jarring it can get really jarring because you are having each one of the people from the previous episodes that Ryu helped after they show up in their episode they're coming back to narrate and this is like annoying i won't say it's annoying but it's really weird when you get up to episodes 9 and 10 when all different people are narrating the um the episode and you're like um Character number B is talking about what happened and then character number D is talking about what happened and all of these different characters are direct just narrating this um narrating this um anime and as well as the characters that appear you've also got the main Naruto from the start and you've got Miwa so it's just it gets a lot but other than that, I just like the way it looks and the soundtrack, as I said, is great. The opening's great. The ending's really cool, what they did with it, changing it each time. So, I mean, presentation's pretty damn good. I think it has an amazing main character, one that studies the um, psychology of each one of the um, customers that comes in and just studies the human psychology. He knows how humans work and it's just good to see him, as I said before, when in the character section, clash with his mentors and how he deals with all of these problems and situations that arise. Um, it's really interesting. I like the way that it's sort of episodic, like something like Case Closer I really enjoy or the start of Gintama which I really enjoy or something like Roroni Kenshin even because the star of Roroni Kenshin was a bunch of little mini arcs which I really enjoyed about it. I like animes like that that have a bunch of really enjoyable mini arcs on just um, episode or episodic in nature because when that's enjoyable it's just like one of those things I could go back and rewatch this episode. Just today I went back and watched episode I think it was 17 of Case Close. So I like I like the setup of Bartender a lot. Um, it's just a really nice anime um it has a really nice deep message to it as well because it's like i could give you an example there's one there's a message about how you shouldn't a man should not be defeated because there's this guy in the bar who's down because basically his boss saying you can't amount to nothing you can't do anything and in the at the start of the episode he's having like He's daydreaming and then having this daydream about his boss actually sitting next to him in the bar and saying, you can't do this, you can't do that, you will never amount to anything. And Ryu gives him this speech about this artist that went out to sea and this artist used to be great. He had like a whole 10 year golden age where he was making amazing paintings and all of that. But after, there was this two year period when he wasn't producing anything and everyone was wondering why. And he went out to the sea with his pencil and his... Um, and with his um, canvas and he wanted to he wanted some inspiration but then his pencil fell into the ocean and 
a shark was suddenly chasing after him so he he had to row away and he he actually got away from the shark that was um coming after him it was something to do with that but the bottom line of the story he realized is that i should not be defeated if my pencil or the instrument i used that helped me get this far is broken find a new one man should not be defeated you should carry on and you should sort of move into the right direction you should never give up and be determined and don't let anyone look down on you and tell you you can't do anything those are some of like the deep messages in this anime sorry if that was rather convoluted but it's a hard story to explain but just a deep message i really enjoyed bartender overall overall i give bartender a b minus you're probably wondering why B- minus if you speak so highly of it? Surely it should be a solid B or maybe even a B plus. Well, it's because of that dub issue I was talking about. Because it's subtitled, it can be rather hard to follow and some people find it boring. I was talking to, um, I think his name is Dreadwood Reviews. Um, I think that's his name. And he wrote a comment on one of my videos because I was talking about Bartender. He was like, I couldn't follow it. It was kind of boring. It was hard to follow. And that's one of the reasons why I would grade it a bit lower because I can understand where he was coming from um, but it, re it is really great and I think you guys should just actually give it a chance because you you may well enjoy what this anime has to offer, offer the deep messages the sort of um, stories from the past um, about sort of famous people the origins of these different bears I mean or bears and drinks all of these different types of drinks that they talk about and just the, how beautiful it looks. I myself don't drink ever and I'm just 17, but I still really enjoy this anime and it has drinks. I'm not even interested in the origin of drinks or anything like that. This is aimed to more adult and a mature audience, but I feel if you have the right mindset, you can really enjoy it. Anyway, this has been um, J Man Seductions on the J Zone with a bartender review, finally. Um, sorry if it was a bit long but I hope this actually gets a couple of people to check it out because I know um, somebody commented on my update sorry for getting you hopefully you're watching this he's like oh J man I like the way you review new animes and because it helps me to get into these um, new animes and he wanted me um, to review classic animes which I'm coming around to do but um, I hope like people like that check this out and see how good bartender is but Anyway, um, J-Man Seductions on the J-Zone, live alone, good luck and God bless, and keep it classy.